Yesterday, we went for an operation in Chakama after receiving information that there is a person who was uh, radicalizing people or rather brainwashing people to that uh, they should starve their children to death and uh, so that they can uh, they can see God in a, in a, in a, in the future he used to operate a mission ministry here in Malindi in, 19, in 2018 and he was arrested and charged for various offenses and he closed that uh, that ministry and moved to Chakama where he has been able to influence his followers to follow him there. He wanted to make sure that the fasting was effective, so he picked 15 of his members and kept them in a house where he could most likely monitor them. I'm not talking about kids here. I'm talking about 15 adults, men and women, kept in a special compound to fast, voluntarily to death, so they could see God before August. Well, things blew up when concerned neighbors who were living near this compound housing the 15 members church called the police. You know, when you see people fast, you most likely want to leave them undisturbed to observe their spiritual obligations, because true fasting is a spiritual exercise. But the neighbors had noticed the people were losing weight and refusing to eat, and at the same time struggling with their health. Many of them have been said to be fasting for nearly 20 days without food, and they were so dedicated. But these neighbors were so concerned that they could not even look at this anymore. It became a thing of stupidity for them, and instantly they felt, okay, it's high time we interfere. Convinced a husband and wife to starve. It is in his house that Mackenzie has been shaping the beliefs of his followers, some of who are now being investigated for alleged horrific crimes, including starving and killing their children and later burying them in shallow graves. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Recha Ha Kodash, and double honors to the elder apostles and bishops of Great Millstone. Honors as well to you, brethren. Fellow followers and believers of this truth, and shalom to the elect. So, anyway, I ran across this weird story of this pastor named Paul McKenzie, Nahenji, or something. It's called the most evilest pastor in the world. Now, and he quoted, well, let me say, it, he told his congregation that they must starve themselves to death by August 23rd, I believe of this year. And if they don't, they will die a really brutal and horrible death. Now, my question would be to all the Christians who hate, dislike Hebrew Israelites, who will not go into the people who stole our identity and go into the land that was stolen and taken, it even go into the fact that they don't even believe in a Messiah. They push the narrative that we are just a hate group. They're even setting up stages to show us doing harm to people, you know, according to individual, individual cells, so to speak. But then you have this man here in many situations like this, where this man... I don't know who this. Let me see if I have a picture of this man. This man doesn't look like he's starving, you know. He tells everybody to starve themselves while he eats. I mean, he didn't even want to go down with them and starve like various other of uh, these uh, occultic occultic leaders. So I just wanted to touch on that. What is vocab Malone? has to say about this what is uh uh the various other jesus is the word you know what is his take on this you know a lot of these guys M mark or mike winger zinger whatever his name is what is his take on this will they come and do a cleanup video and say well there's not you know there's not a uh, any 
questions, uh, you know, that, I mean, well, there's questionable things that happen, but it's not in a nutshell, all Christians, will they clean this up? And if that's the case, will they do videos and start attacking the sickness that's going on in Christianity? Because after all, you should clean up your house first before you go into somebody else's house and try to clean it. If you try to protect your house from Hebrew Israelites coming into your house, then maybe you need to clean up your house and protect your own house from your other houses. You know? Just what it is. Uh, anyway, let me go to 2 um, Corinthians 11 and 14. And it says, let me go to the whole thing. Let me go to 11, I think it's 11 13. Um, for such are false apostles, which means sent forth, deceitful workers transforming themselves into the apostles, it says here, of Christ. And I'm using that word Christ because we don't use that. But for the sake of the video, for you Christians who believe in this false Greek or Egyptian Messiah who was stolen by a white Messiah, so for you Christians who believe in this particular doctrine, why aren't you in any of you doing anything on this? Now, us as Hebrew Israelites, especially a great millstone, even in our doctrine, we do videos on other Israelites who go off on doctrine. And granted, there is some Christians who do go after other Christians. I'm not saying that. But I mean, you people who come after Hebrew Israelites, why haven't you done videos or start going into videos and looking for videos of religions such as Christianity, false Christianity, of things that are being done in your own house, in the house of Christ, right? And then it's our people and a lot of so-called black people that are affected by your white supremacist Christianity because our culture was stricken, right? Our heritage, let me say that, was stricken. What were you supposed to do? You broke our families up. You split the fathers up. You buck broke the, uh, the, the fathers, the men. You destroyed them. Then you brought them over here to Western culture and raised them up in a so-called civilized society. Then when you raised them up in this so-called civilized society, right, you took their women and destroyed them by putting them over men. Yeah, that destroys women. Not supposed to have this is not supposed to happen. You moved these men out of the house, you gave them extra benefits. You didn't fund the workmanship of men to help them be better fathers and leaders of their home as the so-called Christian great American Christian doctrine is supposed to produce. You're not doing that. You've made us adopt to your Christianity just so you can destroy us and build yourselves up so you can look like the real people of God. But now that we've raised up, because we got a higher power than you, right? Now that we've raised up and we're calling out all this BS, you so-called white Christians, you're going to slither this under the rug. You won't say anything, right? You will allow us to continue to be sick, okay? Or some of you may look and just say black people are crazy. Anyway, uh, and it says, and, and, and no marvel for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light, right? So this is also psychological warfare. Do you know what you can do if you got a mindset to make people not eat? And everybody know where I'm going with, with that, with the coming things that's coming. How easy would it be to convince people to do certain things? We've seen this in the last few years with this whole situation. How easy it was through the media, the medium, to convince people to do things that they normally wouldn't do. Right? Break them down and give them and put fear. And that's why the Lord said he didn't give us the spirit of fear. Um, let me go to Rev, uh, John 4 and 1. 
Now, we will say that with this, what these pastors are trying to do is they're trying to amplify certain things according to the Bible, right? Now, if it was the pig and it was locked up and it was trying to feed them swine, yeah, that's a different story. But they're trying to elevate a situation that they might have heard in the Bible and, uh, uh, you know, try to create their own malice. You're not supposed to starve yourself till you die. That's crazy to get, get to the most high. When did the Lord say to do that, especially in this time, man? See, these new hooks, because Christianity is failing, so they got to keep coming up with new, more gimmicks and more tricks. And now it's costing people their lives. It says, Beloved, be not, believe not every spirit, but try the spirit, whether it be of God, Yahweh, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. This man clearly has made people starve themselves. Mother And, and whoever does that is simple. But man's going to the Lord. Right? It says, um, but evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. We know these scriptures going to Israelites. But I want to get to the words uh, seducers means a, a howler, whaler, a juggler, enchanter. Because the incarnations used to be uttered in a kind of howl. You know, and, uh, a deceiver and imposter. Well, we know who that is. Um, kind of like when you get subliminal, you know, you'll keep seeing the same commercial over and over. It's kind of like an enchantment, you know, and then you wind up being like kind of controlled by it. It says enchanter, one who enchants or practices enchantment, a sorcerer or magician, right? A sorcerer or magician. It's where you get the term TV sources. Right or channels, channeling. It's a social magician, also one who charms, delights, agent from enchantment. A magician. It says even a singer. So this is how we got destroyed. You know, we see the rap music, some other music. Uh, they used enchantments to destroy us. You know. And um, that's what a bigger downfall is. Sorcery, sorcerer, a conjurer of spirits, one who uses magics, magic, art, and divinations. An extended form of earlier sorcery, sorcerer. Um, it says fortunes, teller of fortunes, sorcerers. And, and this is what your churches do. All they do is they go in, they probably know what every woman that's paying them that money, a problem that they got going on. Because everybody needs more money, especially a lot of women these days aren't good money spenders. They're not good with, um, you know, managing money. They're not good with economics. You know, they just know they're going to work. They're not good in relationships, right? Budgeting. So all you got to do is when you go to church, you look at a bunch of women and look how they wear and things that are going on in their life. And all you got to do is put on some sorcery. You know, tell them it'll be all right. You know, just lift up your head and pray to God. And do you know that the, the Lord allows certain spirits to help people, to keep them in that enchanted farce, so to speak? Because if you get like in the middle of a forest, you can get completely lost. So imagine you in church jumping up and down and the most high, you ask the most high to help pay your rent next month. You don't know what you're going to do. Then all of a sudden some special check comes in. You're going to believe it was from the most high. As I read, even Satan trans transformed himself to an angel of light. Right? Um... Uh, that's pretty much it. I don't want to go much on that. I just wanted to touch on that. That That is insane. Christianity is worse than the worst of the worst. You know? How can you see things like this and then there's other Christians that don't even step in and they hide it and then continue on following Christianity? And I guarantee you these people 
have fi followed white Jesus to their death. And they think they're going to go to heaven and see a white Jesus. <laughs> That's what they've done. White Jesus was a murderer. And he's the father of this murderer. That's all I have on that, Shalom.